So today I'm going to show you some really basic macrame. And you can use it to make basically a little net that you can use for plant containers, or in my case I just did the little glass buoys. So start by getting a container, in my case I'm using some old glass buoys, and then you want to get cut an even number of pieces of yarn or string, and you want one for every inch of the circumference of your container. And then you just want to knot those together at the end, and leave kind of a little fringe at the end. So then you want to separate out two strings, and you want to tie them together about an inch below the main knot. So just make a loop, and push the strings around themselves. Basically you're using them as one string as you're tying them both together into a little knot about an inch below the main knot. Just like that. So then separate out two more strings and do the exact same thing. Just tying them into a little knot about an inch below the main knot. Just pull it up and then pull it tight. You now keep going until you have them all separated out into groups of two, tied in a knot below the main knot. So for the next layer, you'll take one string from two different sets of two, and you're going to knot those together about an inch below the previous knots. So you do it the exact same way, just tying it around itself as though it's one string, pulling it through, and pulling it tight to make a knot below the other two. And so then the other piece from that set of two gets tied to one piece from the next set of two. Again, about an inch below the other two knots. And pull it up tight. And so this starts making the actual net design. And so just keep going until you have them all tied into new sections of two below the other sections of two, just like that. And so the two outside strings, those are going to be your last set of two, and you'll tie those to each other. And what that does is that'll start making the actual um, container part, the actual net for your container, because that'll bring it around into a circle. So just tie those last two together, again, into just a simple little knot, right below, about an inch below the main knot. And then you should start to have a net. As you can see, it kind of forming around the top of the ball here. And so then for the next layer, just do the same thing. Taking a piece from two different sets of two and tying into a knot about an inch below the other ones. Um, because my ball is small here, I only have to go about an inch down all the way around. But if your container gets really large, then you'll want to tie the knots farther down, like two inches below the other or three inches below, depending on how wide your container gets. So you just want to keep measuring your container as you go to make sure that your um, net will have enough width. So when you get to the bottom of your container, you can either just tie it off into a knot, or in my case, I'm just using a little cork circle. You could also use a large bead just sliding that up, and then if you want to add another one, just do the same thing, make another net container the exact same way. So here it is once I've done all six of my little buoys, and at the bottom I just tied it off into a knot, and then at the top I made a little loop so I can hang it from a tree. And so this part's optional, but I just wanted to add a little sign at the bottom, so I got a piece of pine, and I drew out the word Zenwood because that's what I call my woods. And then I just gouged it out with a little wood gouge very lightly. And then I didn't have a super small wood gouge, so at the top I just drew the ohm symbol and went over it several times to indent it because it's pine, so it's soft wood, so it um, gives it that little indentation. And I didn't have to chisel it. And then I just drilled a little hole. And then I coated the entire thing in some metallic well, it's supposed to be metallic red, but it kind of turned out pink. But um coated the whole thing in that, and I only did one coat because I wanted the wood grain to show through. So I just did one thin coat of that, and then I did the gouged out parts in metallic gold. Give it a little shine. I did the ohm symbol in metallic gold as well. You can kind of see the wood grain under my one layer of reddish pink there. And then I went over the entire thing with some clear varnish so that I could weatherproof it and hang it outside. 
And so then at the very bottom of all my little macrame buoys, I just separated it out into even amount of strings and I pushed them through the hole. I needed a pencil to do it. And I pushed them through the hole and then just tied them off into a knot on the back side. And then I let the ends trail down into a little fringe, just like that. And then I just took it and hung it outside. And so it makes kind of a nice little entrance way to my little woodland, which I call Zenwood. So um, just kind of a simple way to do a little macrame container.